thermal grease. A necessary evil. Modules are mounted on heat sinks to dissipate excess heat. Unfortunately, the two surfaces are imperfect, so contact is relatively limited. Thermally conductive grease serves to fill the gaps. The trick is to use just enough so that excess grease does not increase the distance between surfaces. Not enough thermal grease will leave gaps, but too much will widen the distance, both of which increase thermal resistance. Engineers seeking to achieve the ideal thermal conductivity have to find a way to apply just enough grease to close the gaps, but no more. The two surfaces' irregularities dictate the minimum layer thickness. Engineers calculate the worst case resistance by taking the surface unevenness and roughness and adding process tolerances to the equation. The lower the process tolerances, the thinner the thermal grease, and the thinnest possible layer achieves the most beneficial thermal resistance. Applying thermal grease with the roller is common practice throughout the industry. This has its drawbacks. Rollers apply grease in uneven layers. The results depend very much on the material and operator. Layer thickness cannot be adjusted to suit the given system's needs, and process variations are very high. Vincotech uses automated screen printing equipment to apply thermal grease to the module surface, thereby achieving state-of-the-art process stability and a 100% seal with the thinnest possible layer. The unique honeycomb array provides channels for air to escape during assembly. This structure also enables layer thickness to be measured across the module. Measurements are taken regularly to validate process stability. Vincotech screen printers apply thermal grease far more effectively and precisely than any roller. The layer is thinner and thermal conductivity is greater. Vincotech has also introduced a highly conductive thermal interface material based on phase change technology. This new material's thermal conductivity is four times greater than that of standard grease. This reduces thermal resistance markedly by 15% between the chip and heat sink and alumina-based modules and by around 30% in aluminum nitrate-based modules. The improvement in performance is equally dramatic. The new material surface is solid and non-sticky, thereby minimizing the risk of contaminating and damaging the thermal grease layer in production. When the module is heated up for the first time, the phase change material softens so that it spreads evenly across the entire surface. Wax-like consistency prevents the pump-out effect to enhance stability and longevity. Vincotech power modules with pre-applied face change material. Today is easy to use, higher performance modules for tomorrow's applications. Vincotech. Powering your ideas.